Hello everybody, welcome to Short Shot Archery, Anthony here, and today I am at the SoCal Showdown 2020 in Chula Vista, California, or just outside of San Diego. So behind me is the field. Uh, this video is going to be a tour of the shoot. We're going to show you the path into this venue. Uh, we're going to show you the parking lot that's actually in front of me here. We're going to show you the range, check-in, and things like that. So stay tuned. A lot of great information here so you can get a really good idea on you know upcoming SoCal showdowns, what to expect. Obviously things change a little bit here and there every year and based on the circumstances, but this should give you an idea on future SoCals to come. So let's start with a drive up here because the entrance is kind of unexpected. All right, so driving to the SoCal Showdown, you're confronted by a whole bunch of different entrances. This one here to our right is the entrance for the Olympic Training Center, and you do not want to use that one. That is not the entrance for the SoCal Showdown. Uh, we're going to continue down through this light, and well, we're actually going to see a little target on the corner here with an arrow. We're going to make the right-hand turn on this light, and we're going to follow this very curvy road all the way around. That's pretty interesting because you get a great view of the lake that's down there in the mountain range, but you also have to avoid uh, some of the crazy bicycle riders because um, they're, they're really into this road and they're really into taking these turns that you can't see. Well, they like to drive on the wrong side of the road. Uh, besides that though, we're going to you know, proceed to drive on this road and I'm going to show you the second entrance that you also don't want to use. But um, I want to show you these so that there's not confusion when you attend this event in the future because I know I was confused by them. So again, coming on our right hand side here, we have the athlete only entrance for the Chula Vista Elite Training Center. This is not athletes for the SoCal Showdown. Do not use this entrance. Continue on as I am doing currently uh, because again, both of those entrances are not for the tournament. They are for people that actually live there at the training center unrelated to this archery tournament. Um, there's a fair amount of traffic here this time of the day. It's usually quieter, but then again, we have people uh, going in and out because uh, of, of different line times and things like that. So a lot of these people on this road at this time are probably archers. It is also the weekend and there is access to the lake certain days of the week and stuff so that could be a you know a case for the traffic too. Um, as we work our way through these winding bends we are going to get to the third entrance and this entrance is the one we want. Um, again it's going to be marked there should be a sign with an arrow and while well, you can clearly see there is a ton of vehicles exiting currently uh, it's actually gonna be really interesting trying to get into here because the entrance is super small uh, so we're gonna we're gonna try to do that now all right we made it through thanks guy for waiting for us and we're gonna make our way up here and this is going to lead us into the parking lot um, they do have people controlling the flow of traffic at all the other uh, points of this, just not that main entrance there. Uh, all the vehicles you're seeing now are people leaving from uh, the morning line, and I am shooting the, the afternoon line, so all these people are leaving. I think it's all the uh, youth divisions. So they're flagging us to go. Um, Oh, 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 it looks like they're going to send us around. Ooh. So that way up there is where I'm starting you at of the main parking lot. It looks like they're going to ship us to the overflow lot. So it may make it a little confusing when you see the next clip in this video. But at least you're going to be able to check out uh, the overflow lot uh, for this event. Right now we're going we're going a little bit off-road keeping it interesting 
And let's see, we probably have, they probably have people. Yep, they have people instructing us where to park. Let's see, this guy's probably gonna flag us down. No, not him. Probably maybe this next guy. Let's see. But they, they really do do a good job of, of giving parking instructions. Oh, okay, wants us to come all the way around. You can see there is steps here. So if you are handicapped, you do not want to end up in this, uh, this lot because it will be uh, you know, not a good thing trying to get up those stairs depending on, on what your needs are. And now we can go and proceed to do uh, well, the rest of the tournament. All right, so now that we have driven up and parked behind me as we turn around, here is the parking lot. It's, it's pretty vast. We can fit a lot of cars here. Um, I know they do have an additional auxiliary lot further down, but odds are if you come here in a reasonable amount of time before the, the tournament starts, you should be able to get a parking spot. Uh, they do have handicapped parking available too. And uh, we're gonna go walk down and see what else is going on. All right, coming back down here, we got all of our different rows. They actually have official like parking people that uh, direct you, you know, where to park when the, uh, the venue first opens. Um, after that, I think it might be a little bit of a free-for-all. I don't know, it does look like there's somebody still walking over there. Uh, besides that though, look, they have a lot of porter potties. Actually, this might be the most porter potties I've seen here. Um, they also have hand washing stations. That way, you know, we can do lots of social distancing and there's, there's plenty for everybody. Um, as we continue down, we can see uh, these are the handicap parkings for our para archers and people that need uh, closer parking. Very cool. And as we keep walking, we have the welcome to the SoCal showdown. Um, we have signs to keep your distance since we do have social distancing in effect here because of what's going on. As we follow the tape in, we get into more information with face masks being required, symptoms you should be looking out for. We have a screening area for both athletes and uh, people here, very friendly people here. They're really awesome. Um, this section also has uh, the check-in and stuff so you can get your, your band and they know that you're checked in for the tournament. You also get your gift bag there. They have a nice sign that says check-in, so even better. Uh, as we turn around, we have the podium if you happen to take first second or third or you just want a fun picture to share with your friends and family of you and your bow and you being at this event um, other than that as we turn around some more we can see the field off in the distance we'll get a little bit of a closer look there but uh, as we continue this way we have uh, some vendors and stuff you can get a you know some chiropractics done here pretty sweet uh, bee stinger has a setup here as well along with gold tip uh, as we continue down, you see all these people with uh, the red shirts on. These are judges, and they're doing equipment inspection, yes. This is the equipment inspection area for compound and recurve shooters. So, very important, because you're going to have to get this done. And once you get your equipment inspected, they just check you off a list. You just give them your name. So, very cool. Now, separating out the rest of the field, you see all these tents here? They are separated from the archers and from the support staff via this white picket fence. There are very large gaps um, in the fence. We'll see some further down here. And uh, from there, you can, you can enter. They have trash cans set up. They give you a water bottle in your bag. Um, seating has labels. The first two rows here are for premium seating. And uh, the coaches, the next two rows here, as you can see by the sign, is the athlete only seating. So only athletes are allowed to sit there. Uh, we're down here at the Masters recurve section. They're shooting 60 meters from target one all the way through. It looks like target 32, which is about there. And then target 33 all the way through target uh, 63, it looks like it's going to be 70 meters. Um, the field itself is this beautiful, sod here nice and solid um there's not really huge divots in it really quality stuff uh other than that 
you can see this massive canopy is really convenient for this event. Uh, this is a lot of the, uh, I think it's junior and, uh, and of course senior women's divisions are shooting on this side. And then when we move to the other side of the field, we'll check out compound, uh, men's recurve, and things like that. Um, for 2020 SoCal, they have a QR code where you can follow uh, you know, what's going on with target assignments and scoring. Of course, you can just go to the website too between ends, but you can, you can scan the QR co code and save yourself some typing. Um, right up here where you, these people are sitting, this is DOS. They're running the shoot. They're making every, sure everything's organized. There's judges um, downrange that are uh, making sure that all the archers come back to the line before arrows are shot again. But, uh, you know, these are your main people running the event at, you know, any given time. All right, coming over to the male recurve side of the field and, and compound. We got, we got Kevin. He's doing some bow work here. Yeah, just keeping it real. Looking pretty good. So targets 45 through 63 is... Uh, senior uh, men's recurve 64 through 88 is a uh, compound so we'll, we'll walk over and check out the compound field uh, the cool thing is target bail wise um, they have metal stands but they're actually Reinhardt's on all of the targets so really solid targets they're using here and uh, you know that's a good thing uh, you want to worry about your arrows passing through and uh, it's pretty sweet um, they got some short shot archery, uh, 360 spinners, and flags actually on top of their targets. And as we get down to compound, you can see two archers per bale. Pretty nicely set up. All right, uh, as we go down, we got another cutout down here. Uh, no porter potties down in this section, so you will have to walk, you know, all the way that way to get to them. I think there, I think there is a reason for that. It's not that they didn't want to put them there. I don't think they're allowed, but, you know, that's just my understanding. It could be totally different. And here is the rest of Compound. And before we wrap this up, let me sneak in, sneak in around here. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure shot Anthony. Make sure you check out Bros, Fros, and Bows. No? No, did I get it the wrong way? No, that's the way. Alright, sweet. <laughs> check him out. Super fun. And uh, there you have it. There is the tour. Okay, so um, there you have it. That's the tour of the SoCal Showdown. I got my uh, face mask on here because it is required uh, for this tournament on the field. You don't have to wear it when you shoot, so no worries about trying to practice with a face mask on at home. But when you're just on the field, not shooting, you're supposed to be wearing it. It was one of the you know the rules that has to be put in place so that we can hold the tournament here. From from my understanding, again, you know I don't I don't speak for USA Archery, but hey, you know at least we get to host this tournament. We got beautiful views. Look at the mountains back here. Pretty awesome. A little smoky because of uh, some of the fires going on, from my understanding. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, hopefully this helped you out. Uh, check out USA Archery's website for more information from them and the SoCal Showdown website. And uh, ah, other than that, as always, happy shooting. <laughs>